Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a seven box show me the money football mixer. Pick your team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Seven boxes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's a pick your team break. And big thanks to these folks who picked their team. And pick your team number one. I think we have the same version of this mixer in the store again. Number two. Patrick Kay, Titans, Last Spot, Mojo. And let's, I guess we'll start with the box in front of me, this momentum right here. Good luck, everybody. Oh, Gianni, nice. You took the Dodgers minus one and a half runs. Okay, that makes more sense. All right, good luck, folks. What year is 2012? Yeah, this is 2012. Joe, when will you move to the new store, will your stuff be the same, Mothro's asking? No, nothing online changes. We're just moving physical locations. Virtually, everything is the same. Good luck. There's the law firm, Ben Jarvis Green Ellis. And there's Jeff Fuller for the Dolphins. Um, will we have bigger breaks? Ray is asking. Um, no. I mean, ho I mean, hopefully we can order some more stuff because we have more stuff. More places to put it. That Dolphins auto goes to Joseph Carmonas. Head of the class dual relic, Brock Lobster and Ronnie Hillman. Dual relic going to Denver. That'll be David Z, last spot mojo. So, yeah, I'm, I mean, little will change online-wise. You know what I mean? Uh, William, that is correct. Working with Upper Deck will become a lot easier. There's BJ Cunningham. Another dolphin going to Joseph Carmonas. Yeah, we've already we've already had some good discussions with Upper Deck about lots of things. There's Bruce Irvin, nice Bruce Irvin for the Seahawks. That's rookie Bruce Irvin. That's for Patrick Kay and the Hawks. We may have we we're trying to work on Upper Deck sending us some uh, a hockey player or two to sign at our store. That's for the Vikings, the Josh Robinson. Yeah, I, th I think that ver that vertex should be should sell out pretty quickly, Gianni. I'd be surprised. If it didn't. Oh, number four sold out already. Dang it. Nick already posted the, one, the next one too quickly. I'll, I'll, I'll change that later. I'll, I'll just cancel that one. I'll figure it out. Anyway. Uh, yeah, Vertex 4 sold out. And then the next Vertex random number block, I think, is from a fresh master case. B-Boy, do you have, the, you have the Chargers in this one? I don't think you do. I think you are not, unless you're David. All right, there's Isaiah. Isaiah what? Pete? I, don't, I, don't, I have no recollection of this guy. That goes to the Rams. Mothra, we hope to move in about a month or so. I mean, the online operation will move relatively quickly, and you won't even notice a difference. It'll just be this background one day and then a different background the next day.
And there's Brett Favre, Vikings edition. And that'll be for David Z. Yeah, Bob's saying it's a huge pain to get allocated, more allocations from these distributors. I know. It is a challenge. They've got a lot of mouths that are clamoring for more allocations. Makes it difficult. There's Robert Turbin for the Seahawks. And then we got Robert Griffin the third. Nice. Oh, it could have been for RG3. Triple Relic and Autograph. Redskins, Patrick K. I'll see, yeah, I'll see if we can, we'll, we'll try to at least document the move. I don't know if we'll be able to stream it, but we'll try to document as much of it as possible. Steve Olson, could we break the NT Collegiate? Yes, if you want to. Ten spots left in that one. You don't have to ask me. You don't have to ask permission from me. Just buy it and we'll break it. If it, if it uh, sells out, it fills, I'll break it. All right, 2017 Elite Collegiate Football. Gianni's asking, where do you see the sports trading card market going? Yes, I am biased. He's like, obviously you're biased. But do you see it continuing to skyrocket? Um, I mean, yeah. Let's put it this way. Why are we moving into a store four times, four times the size <laughs> and, a ton, and costing us a ton more money in Hermosa Beach? Why would we do that? So we put our money where our mouth is. We think it's going to keep growing. So I think listen, I know I know when you're in the moment of these of these breaks, you know, everyone always is easy to be cynical about um everyone's easy to be cynical about the card companies, right? Tops and Panini and everything. But think about it. They don't. It's not like they want to repeat the the history of you know junk wax, right? So um, so they don't want to repeat that. So I think they're going to be motivated to make sure they continue to preserve and keep the hobby growing. Is all backwards? Or I don't know how this works. So they, they're motivated to do that. So I think group breaking has really changed the face of a lot of things. So that has helped. You know, I think there'll be there'll continue to be more advancements in uh, car technology. You know, I think with more relics getting getting those hologram stickers that you see on some baseball breaks, on Topps baseball breaks, I think that's going to be a bigger thing as the years go on. So I think we're going to see a lot of different things like that. All right, there's uh, Awan Price. Don't remember where this guy goes, but we'll have our shipping team take a look at that. Wait, B-Boy, you're in Manhattan Beach? That's pretty close to us. Um, Gianni, you're in North Redondo? Wait, where are you? We're in North Redondo. We're right next to the, uh, we're right next to the post office on Catalina. Just south of that. Um, I would say, is Hermosa more upscale than Redondo? I guess so. I feel like there's more college kids that live in Hermosa Beach. And Redondo's more family. You know what I mean? And it's a little bit bigger too. Then Manhattan Beach is 
where a lot of the athletes live. Manhattan Beach, it's, it's technically a little more, most of it's more like upscale. There's Gunner Keel, draft picks autograph. You're on Grand Aviation. Oh, nice. Yeah. You're nearby. You want to go grab some stuff for me at Trader Joe's, Gianni, and bring it over? Grab some Starbucks for me at the at the same plaza. Hit up the Seven Eleven along the way. Get me some candy. Oh yeah, maybe go to the the Walgreens and find me some uh, barbecue David sunflower seeds, which appear which are apparently are a rarity in uh in my life. There's Joe Mathis. Allegedly, William L. did some research for me. Allegedly, that there are David's barbecue sunflower seeds at a local Redondo Beach Walgreens. I don't know where that where that particular Walgreens is, but. I can't find any David's barbecue sunflower seeds anywhere. I see ranch, David sunflower seeds. I see like cracked salt and pepper and salt and pepper, cracked pepper, whatever. I see that. Barbecue, nope. I see dill pickle. Nope. Do California say y'all like like us Texans do? Depending on what part of California. Central California, yes. The Inland Empire, where I'm from, yes. Kids that grow up in Manhattan Beach, no. <laughs> Josiah Price. But y'all is not uh, super common around these parts, unless it's a transplant from Texas. <laughs> All right, that was elite. Uh, let's go, should we go this? Some old 2011 Supreme? William L., you saw a YouTube today about a case of bubonic plague in L.A. No, that's in downtown L.A., so I'm not worried. No, I am worried because I hang out in downtown L.A. I just won't go near City Hall. It's fine. Ooh, a book? Whoa. Double jumbo relic. Autographed double jumbo relic. Hmm. Double Jumbo Relics. All right, let's see what we got. There's Dez. I'm more worried about all the college kids that UCLA getting the measles. Because apparently people here hate, hate vaxxing. Out of 429, Jake Locker. And behind Jake the Snake is... Oh, still that. No, no reveal on the name. Is... Bam! That's Tony Romo. Nice. That is 8 out of 10 dual relic and autograph Tony Romo, the broadcaster. Nice book from 2011. Top Supreme Football. Going to David Z and the Cowboys. He's a Cowboys guy. There it is. It's nice. Nice. Let's go with some 2013 Crown Royale. That's 
Let's try Jessica Simpson's ex. Rich, Tony Romo. B-Boy saying he's a better golfer than a QB. He might be. There's Tavon Austin. Heirs to the Throne Relic to 299. Rams, David Z. Yeah, I, I kind of would li like to see Tony Romo on tour. I think that would be pretty cool. Didn't he make it to like Friday in like a tournament earlier this year at one of the pro rams at Pebble Beach? One of one. Die cut. Santonio Holmes for the New York Jets, Jets, Jets. And that's for David Z. There you go, David. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. First train whistle of the day. Bam. There's Caleb Sturgis to 150 for the Dolphins. That goes to Joe Carmonas. He did, right? Gianni's saying he did. He got to got to like Friday, maybe even Saturday. There's Joseph Randall, Crown Royale rookie, Panini's Choice Signature Silver. I believe he is a cowboy. Joseph Randall back in 2013 is a cowboy. I know it's expired, but David Z, but you still, uh, Panini's pretty good about honoring that redemption or at least getting you something back in return so you can always check with them. Most people say they can just scratch this off and plug it into the redemption system and it'll still just go through. We've got Nick Moody. I couldn't, even see, I couldn't see with that glare. There's Niall Davis. Heirs to the Throne Relic for the Chiefs. That is for David Z. That's right, Ray. Yeah, hey Panini, I know this expires four years ago. I still want it. But it, it, it works like, it should work like a gift card actually. It should never expire. I think someone filed a lawsuit, didn't they? About those redemptions? I don't know, but I, bo both Tops and Panini are pretty good about uh, honoring those expired redemptions one way or the other. Most of the time they get you the actual card and for if for whatever reason they don't have it they'll uh they'll send you something else in return. Upper deck seem to be pretty strict about when if it's expired it's expired, but hopefully they'll change their tune. Brandon Marshall to ninety nine. We'll do a left-right randomizer on those past and present cards. And the two hits out of Vertex. This pack, Deonta Foreman. 17 out of 25 on those Vertex materials. Fred Williams with the Texans. And back here is Ty Law. For the Pats, highly revered. Autograph to 99. And that goes to Karen and her Patriots. There you go, Karen. Hey, Sammy. 
There's Deshaun Jackson to 99. Ground control. And the autograph is LeGarrette Blunt, Eagles edition, Difference Makers. That goes to David Z in the Fly Eagles Fly. 18 out of 49. And then he saw the Steelers right here. That's TJ Watt, JJ's bro. 95 out of 99 for the Steelers. Mark Livingston for the Steelers. And the last pack from 2017 Vertex. We'll do a, another left right randomizer on that one. And we got Deshaun Watson Startups Relic, 16 out of 99. I'm pretty sure we got a number block break of this sold out, so we're going to be doing that shortly after this. And after a prime, I think we've got one more break to do. And then we've got Joe Theismann, our second Joe Theismann of the day. We pulled a mini helmet of Joe Theismann. Now here he is as a Capstone's quad relic and on-card auto. Numbered 1 out of 10. Nice low number for Patrick Kay and his Redskins. Nice relics in there, too. Game used. Yeah, game used. Nice. All right, 2018 Contenders Optic, that hybrid product. We got Class Act, Saquon Barkley, to 99. New York Football Giants. We got Cam Newton, to 99. We got a rookie ticket autograph, Isaiah Oliver for the Falcons. That's for Ray. For Ray Mendoza. There you go, Ray, on the board. And then it's rookie ticket, a oh, rookie of the year contender's autograph, Cortland Sutton. That's a catch. On card autograph for the Denver Broncos, David Z. I'm going with a little bit of Oppo Joe Mojo. Not numbered, but on card autograph. All right. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for who am I? A little mini football in here. So I, t I give you some clues. And you try to guess who this is for bragging rights. Uh huh. Mm hmm. All right. Put your thinking caps on, folks. Who am I? All right. I am an active wide receiver. I am 6'4", 220 pounds. I have a career 54 receptions for 759 receiving yards and 10 receiving touchdowns. I didn't play much in my didn't play much in my rookie year in 2017, but showed some showed some signs of of uh, maybe even some fantasy football relevance this year. I'll take a flyer on him as a wide receiver three, ceiling wide receiver two maybe. Was drafted in the first round, pick seven in the 2017 draft. I went to Clemson. 
And I was a national champion and first team all ACC back in 2016 with Clemson. Who am I? Not Thielen, not Howard, not Ridley. If I give you the team, it might be too easy. There you go, Edward. Edward's got it. Yep, and Seth too. Mike Williams. Nice. Ray, you think he's a bust? He says Mike Bust Williams. That is for the Bolts. That's going to go to David Z and the Chargers. And there you go, folks. I don't know. I, think, I don't think he's a bust. Not... Not yet, anyway. Yeah, I feel like he could have a huge year this this year, the next year or two, I think, if he's healthy this year. I think I think that'll be that'll be a big determination of how he advances in his career. All right, let's roll the dice. Uh, one and a four, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Right side, we'll get these two cards right here. The right side. Play oh, didn't switch screens. There you go. The right side teams, we'll get those. And there you go, folks. That was the seven box. Show me the money. Football mixer. Pick your team number one. The same exact configuration, I think, is in the store right now. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Pick your team two. So check it out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Bye-bye.